At this point, we're ready to install the virtual Ethernet modules on the ESX servers. If you issue the show module command on the Nexus 1000V, you can see that we only have two modules, module 1 and 2 being the virtual supervised modules. Go ahead and minimize the vSphere client. There are two methods to installing the virtual Ethernet module. The first method I'll demonstrate is the manual method, which requires an SSH connection to the ESX server itself. Using the ESX update command, we can install the virtual Ethernet module. The virtual Ethernet module vib file will need to be located on the ESX server at the time of installation. Once you've entered the ESX update command, you'll see a series of installation processes kick off. This installation may take a few minutes. Once the VEM installation script is complete, it should return an OK and bring you back to the Service Console prompt. This process is the same process that will be used for ESXi installations, although the command is slightly different and uses the remote CLI. At this point of the installation, you can use the VEM status command. The VEM status command will show you the status of the VEM, which is loaded, and the VEM agent, which is running. At this point, you can close the CLI access to the service console. Go back into the vSphere client and right-click on the Nexus 1000V and select Add Host. Select the host where you just installed the VEM and select the NICs you wish to assign to the Nexus 1000V. Assign the proper uplink profiles to the physical NICs, making sure that the configuration matches both on the profile side and on the physical switch side. Go ahead and click Next, and then click Finished. You'll see a few tasks pop up within the vSphere client, you also see some changes once the installation is complete on the NXOS CLI. As you can see, a message popped up saying the module was powered up. Now if you do a show module command, you'll see that there are three modules installed in the Nexus 1000V, or two virtual supervisor modules, and a virtual Ethernet module. If VMware Update Manager is properly installed and functioning within your environment, and you want to use VMware Update Manager to install the VEM code, you can skip the manual CLI process and simply add a new host. Again, select the proper host and apply the proper port profiles to the physical interfaces. Once the port profile definitions for each physical interface are properly applied, you can click Next and then click Finish. You'll see that the process is somewhat similar, although the messages that pop up within the vSphere client are slightly different. This is because the VMware Update Manager is going through the process of installing the virtual Ethernet module code on the ESX server for you. When using the VUM installation method, the process is essentially the same. It's just that VUM is actually copying the virtual Ethernet module to the ESX server for you and issuing the ESX update command automatically. Using VMware Update Manager does take a few moments because of the installation process, but the end result is the same.
Once the FOM installation is complete, you'll see the same message within the NSOX CLI saying that a module has been powered up. And when you issue the show module command, again, you should see a new virtual ethernet module that is virtual ethernet module 4. At this point, the Nexus 1000V installation is complete and you're ready to connect virtual machines to the Nexus 1000V.